Hello everybody, my name is Kadamoir and welcome to our first video for this a new type of game uh, that I decided to play for you guys. Now this game, I it's not exactly new. It's kind of in the middle uh, if you think about years and stuff like that. It was made not too long ago by uh, some good people over uh, at YouTube. I don't actually remember who did it but um, Journey of Wrestling. It's a really good game, boys. I really wanted to play this game for you guys. It's a wrestling game. Obviously, it's a simulator. Just like if you think about Motorsport Manager or Hockey Manager Mode or Baseball Manager, it's all the same, right? Well, this is one of those, except for this one, it's actually available uh, on the browser. So whatever browser you're using, Opera, whatever Google Chrome, whatever you're using, it's available on there. It's not on Steam, uh, not that I think of at least. It's not on Steam, it's not on Epic Games. I don't think it is at least, but it is available on your local browser or whatever. And you can actually get it. It's a really in-depth uh, game. You can play it for free. It's literally a free to play, uh, free to play game. And uh, it's really fantastic. Now, if you play it for free, you get some stuff that uh, normally you're missing out, right? You're missing on some stuff. If you uh, uh, buy it, just like I did, you can buy the game. It's literally like five bucks or ten bucks or something like that. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, I did it a while ago, and you give you get a lot of bonus uh, stuff that I'm gonna t uh, show you guys real quick. All right. So this is obviously a simulation game. I'm going to walk you guys through this type of game real quick. Uh, we're going to do uh, a quick one uh, real quick. And then afterwards, we can uh, you guys can decide with me whether we continue it or not. It's kind of a discovery video uh, for you guys. So we're going to press a new game right here. We're going to go into new game. Now, this is where it starts off. We've got a bunch of scenarios right here. Different scenarios that we can choose from. There's the tutorial, obviously Universal Action Wrestling. We're not going to do that. Uh, what we can do is go for this one. So Passion of Wrestling is one of the new one, newer ones that was uh, created by the fandom. Now, these are all scenarios created by not the developers, but by actual players, uh, modders and stuff like that that are working on the uh, mods and everything, which is fantastic. Uh, it's really good, boys. So... The way it works is you can choose whatever scenario you want. You can wrestling on Mars, whatever, modern day wrestling. And this is where uh, I think these ones are, these three ones are obviously by the developers. These were made by the developers. The other ones though, the, all these ones you can see 91%. You can see the likeness. So how much people liked it, who played it. There we go. You can see these are very well liked. How many versions of them you can get, like the beta testing and everything. You can choose as many as you want. Uh, show the edits for the updates. You can show everything. You can play multiplayer with a bunch of people. So you can multi-select stuff, right? You can be two GMs at once, three GMs. It's kind of pretty cool. Uh, you can choose, depending on the era you are, you can choose uh, what, uh, which wrestling company you are and everything. Competition, right? The generate, you can, uh, that's the wrestlers, basically the competitors. You can have g random generated wrestlers or you can have the actual ones. You can choose which, uh, basically which company you want in or an out of the scenario. The weekly shows, you can choose whether you want them or not. So basically Monday shows, uh, Saturday shows, whatever. Uh, you can choose whether you would only want pay-per-views or not on. A main roster, you can draft the single roster, which is always the thing I do. Or you can uh, get the, the main roster that's already in there. Game mode, you can get normal. Now, this is where it differs. If you pay the game, pay for ha to have the game, you can have the sandbox option on. This is the main option. It's basically cheat mode on. Uh, you get every single points available. You get a lot of things. All in these available. Uh, unlock all items, maximum staff and facilities, no special items cooldown. Like you get a bunch of bonuses that is really fantastic for the gameplay wise. It's really fun. Uh, otherwise, if you don't pay for it, that's fine. You get the normal mode on, which means you, you just got to grind a little bit more when you're on GM mode. But it's, it, it's fine nonetheless. You can also edit and play your own scenario. 
So you can create your own little scenario from another one or create your own entire scenario by itself. You can create it, get a bunch of wrestlers, different wrestlers as we go down right here. I can't really do anything right now, so I'm kind of stuck. Oh, oh okay, so it's loading. I actually, oh, oh, we got to wait for it to load, but um, you can see it's a, it's a lot of fun. You can do your own little stuff, allow edits, private, uh, sharing, all this good stuff, right? You can do a bunch of different stuff. Really cool, really fantastic. So I'm going to wait for this to load. Uh, I'll ba come back to you once uh, we're in an actual little scenario I want to choose. I think I'm going to go for a WCW Lives, boys. I think that's the one I'm going to choose from, uh, from all of them. I think that's a pretty interesting one. I'm going to see. I'm going to go back to 2001 and see if does WCW can uh, resist this time around, not be bought off by uh, WWE. Uh, what we can do is either like choose one of these two, but I think I want to go for an underdog, an underdog big time. I kind of want to go for either Combat Zone Wrestling, which I think eventually became the Impact Zone or something, boys. Or I want to get to ECW and try to make it so that ECW actually survives. That would be a pretty good one, wouldn't it? I think it would be a pretty good one if I made it so that ECW survived. Uh, that would be a pretty interesting one. So I think uh, I kind of want to do that. I want to make it so ECW survives, boys. So we're going to go in there. We're actually going to do ECW for 2001. Uh, standard, uh, everybody in there, of course. I'm not going to run weekly shows. Uh, that's a bit too much to run to. We're going to do drafts. Uh, today we're going to do the draft for our roster and everything. Include indie roster, training roster, sure why not we're gonna do sandbox and i think that's all she wrote i think we're good boys so let's go uh let's go into it let's uh press play real quick it's gonna bring us up into the actual uh game itself it's uh you're gonna see uh, how it looks like what it looks like and everything before we can move on to anything we actually have to uh draft our roster Obviously, we got manage mode on. We can't do anything else. Uh, we can't actually do anything uh, on uh, until we get the the draft uh, done. So we're gonna have to start by drafting our um, our uh, roster and stuff like that. So let's start up by doing that, I guess. Continue. So we get the very first pick. That's fantastic. We get the very first choice for the draft, which is really good, boys. Uh, now, extreme championship wrestling. Afterwards, it's going to be WCW, WWF is going to get the third one, Extreme Pro Wrestling, and after our Combat Zone Wrestling is going to get the fourth one. So that's how it's going to work. I think I'm going to get it up to, we can only get 10, 10 wrestlers or something. Is that the option? I'm not entirely sure, but let's choose our first choice, boys, so you can see all the options right here. Now... If you press on a character right here, like say you press on Stone Cold Eos, everybody's got, you can see right here, everybody's got their own little uh, skin. So you can recognize them from the skin as well and everything, which is fantastic. They also have the uh, nice little bonus. So they've got three stars. Say this guy right here, this is work rate, this is charisma, and this is overall and morale. Now I'm going to uh, rock to you guys through all of it. Work rate is how good he is in the ring, how good the wrestler is in the ring. So, uh, how good, uh, like, is how, how good the wrestler he is basically. Charisma is how good he is uh, for the fans. It's all about the fans. Do the fans care about him at all? Does he have any charisma? Right. That's both of them are very important. After all, overall, that's uh, that's not overall, but overness. Overness is he. It's if he's over with the fans. So do the fans actually care about him or not? Like uh, overness is is he super popular right now? Do we want to use him or not? Uh, it's gonna say he's on fire if the peop uh, if he starts to get over, he's gonna be on fire right there. It's gonna be orange and it's gonna update is bruised by one. Both of these boosts by one. So normally he would be two and two. But now Stone Cold is actually 3 and 3 because people like him very much. Uh, morale is basically the morale of the guy. So depending on whether or not he's uh, mad or, uh, or he's happy, he's going to do better wrestling stuff, right? He's going to have better matches and all. 
which is fantastic. Obviously, this guy's his age, his popularity is how far he is compared to the others, right? Popularity is basically uh, where you are in terms of the company, how, uh, how much of the top of the company you are, basically. Um, face or heel or neutral, these are the things you can be in align uh, alignment style. And a win and loss ratio, basically. Uh, over here are the big little bonuses that you got. So you got big match specialist for him, which is uh, that gives you match ratings uh, bonuses. Entertainment is for charisma, segment chances, right promos, comedy chops. So you get a bunch of different stuff. Natural charisma is always good, boys. It uh, gives you overness. Uh, always overness right there. So you got all these different stuff. Now, I'm going to watch you guys. The one thing that is the best out of the entire thing is Ring General. We got to find someone with Ring General. There we go. Right off the bat, Ric Flair, Ring General. Now, what Ring General does is gives a positive match rating effect by 10 times and reduces the negative match rating effect by 0 0.5 times. So ring general basically means he's always going to have a good match. Always, no matter what, he's going to have a good match, a good rating. And that exactly, that is why I'm saying that this is, this is the best, by far the best bonus that you can get in the game. Afterwards, I would say it's probably big match specialist because this is the same as ring general, but it's only per paper, for pay-per-views, basically. But uh, let's try and find some more. Now, I don't know if I want to get Ric Flair per se. Uh, on there. I'm not a big fan of him, but uh, let's see if we can't uh, get anybody else. Doesn't seem like it, right? Obviously, Hulk Hogan's my favorite uh, wrestler of all time, but he's pretty uh, bad in there. He's a bad actor, so promos are going to be awful. Lifelong wrestler, that means he's starting to get old. Hard to please. Not surprising at all, right? He likes to do whatever he wants to do. And the spotlight lover, yeah. So he's a bad, like, you don't... It's the type of guy you don't want in your company. But, uh, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. I think I'm just going to choose between Stone Cold or Ric Flair, boys. I might need to choose Ric Flair because he's a really good one. He's got work rate of four right now just because of his overness. We're going to take Ric Flair, all right? This is going to be our first pick. Ric Flair, The Rock goes to a WCW. Kurt Angle to WWE, Shawn Michaels to Extreme, and Triple H to Combat Zone. Let's choose our next one, boys. We could always go... Now, if it says blue right here, you see that? If its name, his name is on blue, that means he's a part-timer. That's what it means. If you, if you see his name on grayish, you're probably going to see somewhere like this right here. That means he's already retired. Now, I can bring him back with the infinity powers that I've got, uh, which I'm going to talk to you in a minute. I can bring these guys back to the living or to the re from the retirement. Now, obviously, the next guy I want to go for, he needs to at least have uh, the ring general thing on or the, the other one, which is a big match specialist, right? He needs to have both, though. So I'm obviously going to take Stone Cold. It's not like uh, everybody knows I'm going to go for him. Ric Flair, then Stone Cold. Nobody took him. I'm obviously going to take him. I'm not stupid. I'm obviously going to take him, boys. He's got a bit match specialist on. Would have been fun to have Undertaker and all, but it looks like WCW might have a really good roster. And uh, WWF is all doing all right, but it's not like anything interesting. Goldberg, Kurt Angle, Shawn Michaels, and Bret Hart to Extreme, though, boys. Old Kogan going to Combat Zone. That's kind of a shame. I kind of wanted to have my, my favorite come to uh, come work for me, boys, but uh, that's fine, I guess. All right, so what do we choose? We got a bunch of people right here that uh, are basically already uh, part timers and all. Um, we could get Ultimate Warrior, but you can see his work rate is not too good. He needs a dull worker. So if you see that, that's the opposite of Ring General. That's absolute garbage. That means he's absolute garbage in the ring. He's gonna have only bad matches. So you do not want to have Ultimate Warrior in there. Definitely not gonna pick him up. He's absolute garbage in the ring. We have a Macho Man, a Randy Savage. We could have him. Bro. He could be a really good one. Scott Hall could be a good one. Uh, Roddy Piper, right? But uh, Sting, I think we should go for Sting. Not going to lie, boys. I think Sting would be a good option. So let's go for Sting right here. Let's pick him up. 
There we go. Vince McMahon, Roddy Piper, Dusty Rhodes, and Scott Steiner were the other ones that are picked up. We got all these options. What about Kevin Nash? Dole Worker. We're not going to pick him up, boys. Mick Foley. Enjoys gimmick matches, so he's an extreme guy. He could be really good, but I don't know just yet. Ring General, Kurt Enning. So Mr. Perfect would be a really good wrestler for us. Uh, Booker T would be fantastic. Kind of want to have like good wrestlers and stuff, right? That I know, or, uh, people that I know are good wrestlers. I think I'm going to go for uh, Mr. Perfect. Like people that I know are going to be good, right? So let's go for Mr. Perfect. There it is. Uh, afterwards, we've got Booker T, Kevin Nash, Jeff Jarrett, and Kev uh, Ken Shamrock. Interesting choices from the other companies right here. That's very interesting. We got Ricky Steamboat available. Now, I do know, yeah, he's a ring general as well. He's already retired, but we can bring him back for one last, I guess, um, one last run, right, on the other company. Try him out, at least. Uh, he could be good. I kind of want to try out Macho Man, though. I kind of want to uh, try him out. Randy Savage, that is. Could be a good option, boys. It could be a good try, uh, a good choice. Uh, I think Psycho Sid, Humorless, Natural Heel, though. He's a face right now, somehow. Uh, Diamond Palace Page. Uh, so DDP is a dull worker. So I think I wa either want to go for Steamboat or Macho Man, boys. I think... I think I kind of want to try out uh, Ricky Steamboat. I want to try out Ricky Steamboat and give him another chance, boys. So Dalla, uh, DDP, Sandman, Leth Luger, and Macho Man uh, got picked out. Who else do I want to pick? Brock Lesnar is available, boys. Very young, 24 years of age right now. Big match specialist, natural heel. He's a, he's a good one. He's a good one. He's part of a, a tag team right now. Uh, it, now... He's not very good in the ring, but you can always develop these guys. Uh, Dennis Redman. I'm not going to pick this guy. I don't know who he is. Uh, Arn Anderson, another ring general. But I'm just going to pick anybody up like that. Dull worker for Kane. Somehow, I mean, I like Kane. I don't know why he's a dull worker, though. Uh, Chris Jericho could be a good one. David Flair. A big show, another dull worker. It seems like all the giants are dull workers, boys. Rob Van Dam is a really good one. I think I want him. I definitely want Rob Van Dam, boys, in my uh, in my uh, wrestling company. That would be great to have. A, a great wrestler to have. So, yeah, we're definitely picking him up. Uh, if we uh, think about anybody else, Dustin Rhodes. I'm looking for people that could be good. Sabu could be good. Uh, Chris Benoit. Would be fantastic. I'm going to pick Chris Benoit, boys. Really good wrestler for us. There it is. So there, uh, that's a good one. Anybody else I want to pick up? Keji Mudo. I'm looking for ring generals, boys. Uh, just, uh, Josh and Thunder Liger would be a really good one. David Arquette. Rhino. Uh, not really. I don't see really anybody else right now. Terry Funk would be a really good one. But uh, I feel like uh, I could, sh I should probably choose someone else. Eddie, we could choose Eddie, boys. But let's see if there's anybody at all that's very that like a, a bit more interesting. Not really. I'm trying to find some uh, actual wrestlers, some um, some uh, divas and stuff, right? Woman wrestlers would be good as well for my company. But I don't, f I don't see anybody right now. Fair, I'm just going back to the top. Have uh, some popular uh, popular guys in there. Now, I don't want anybody that has some bad stats on, though. Don't want any um, anybody that's like a dull worker or anything. I don't want that uh, on right now. That's the one thing I do not want in. Uh, I might be tempted to have Arn Anderson on. But then again, I'm kind of intrigued. Like, give Jake Roberts another chance as well, you know. Give the old timers another chance. I could get that. Uh, Sabu, Shane McMahon, could be a good one, I guess, Vince Russo, <laughs> you can make them uh, wrestle and stuff, that could be funny, British Bulldog, Justin uh, Liger, not really, I think I'm gonna go for Eddie, let's go for Eddie Guerrero, boys, alright, so, oh, yeah, okay, so we got more choices, uh, one last one, one last one for us, we're gonna do uh, 10 wrestlers, we're gonna start it with 10 wrestlers, let me see uh, all the way down. Is there a natural girl that we can uh, pick up? I don't see anybody right now. We could pick up Chavo, right? Eddie's brother. Pick up a tag team right there. But uh, I don't know. Don't know about that. Jay Briscoe, the Briscoe brothers. 
Not really. Paul Bearer? What is that? Full-time manager, huh? Well, I don't know if I could pick him up because Undertaker is already taken, so I don't know about that. Chris Hero. There's not a lot of options, not a lot of girls. I'm looking for a girl, boys, and I don't see anybody right now. I legit don't see any girls available. That's kind of interesting. That's a very interesting one. Miss Elizabeth. There we go. We don't have, um, we don't have, uh, what's his face? Randy Savage, though. So, Miss Elizabeth would be kind of a weird one to have, uh, really. So, don't think we should have. Neglect Story, Natural Charisma, Risk Averse, Drug Abbott. Ooh, she's, she has a lot of debuff, boys. That's not good. We could get uh, Trish Stratus or Lita. Lita or Trish Stratus. I kind of want to, I'm, I'm going to get Trish Stratus, boys. Get, let's get her. There we go. So, we're going to have uh, Trish Stratus in there. Somehow they picked Warrior. I don't know why uh, Combat Zone has uh, Ultimate Warrior on, boys. It's going to be bad for them. All right, so I I'm going to end the turn. I'm done with my uh, with my draft. Uh, I've got 10 wrestlers. We're going to start with the 10 wrestlers, boys. Everybody else got like 45 or something. I don't care. Let's go into our messages. Our goals for this year are to make Jake Roberts... Uh, we They want Jake Roberts to win a major battle royal. Sign one the main uh, sign one main event talent can definitely do that and hold at least a one and a half star or higher event which is very easy to do. Uh, part timers so we got uh, Jake Roberts which he's a part timers uh, and stuff like that. We got a bunch of people. What we're gonna do here for stuff I'm just gonna get, quickly read all of this. We're gonna go into manage. I'm gonna show you everything. We're gonna go into artifacts which is where the cheats are at. Uh, artifacts, we're going to do Ring Return Plus, Miraculous Return from a Retired uh, Wrestler, Ricky Steamboat's going to come back to the ring, boy, so he's back, Resign Plus, Resign uh, Jake Roberts, so he's not a part-timer anymore, he's a full-timer, and that's pretty much it, and Reincarnation is exactly what you think it is, so let's bring back somebody to the dead, uh, from the dead. So, all, and when you see this, uh, when you go into Manage, you get all these things, now, Obviously the staff, because I've got, I paid for the game. I've got already the staff at maximum right here. Uh, facilities, same thing, all three stars. So all the maxed out, play, uh, basically, scenarios and everything that I can get. Companies, you can see goals, activities and everything. We're going to go to the roster, view our roster. We got 10 wrestlers right now. What I'm going to do is every three months, I'm going to actually choose a new wrestler or assign a new wrestler for every three months. So we're in March. For, we're actually going to go and take a look really quick. Uh, right now, first, take a look at what we got. We got the Radicals. So Eddie Guerrero and Chris Benoit are a tag team. First thing I want to do is actually go for uh, the teams. I'm going to actually get rid of that team really quick. Uh, disband that team. Going to disband that team, boys. The reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to go into uh, titles really quick. All right. So go into the titles. We got the ECW Championship, the Heavyweight Championship, the World Television. And we've got the Tag Team Division as well, which I'm going to retire that one. I do not want to have a Tag Team Division at all. I don't care about Tag Team Division. It's too much of a problem for me to handle. So I'm not handling that. What I do want to do is... Heavyweight Championship and Television Championship. Now, right now, uh, I have a slight problem. I only have one uh, diva or slash woman wrestler in Trish Stratus. So what we want to do is try and sign more. And once we get enough wrestlers, uh, woman wrestlers, then we can actually create our, we're going to create our own championship for the woman uh, side and stuff like that. I think that would be perfect. For the team wise, so if we go back right here, we've got a bunch of people. How many faces and heels do we have? So we got one, two, three, four, four faces. One, two, three, four, five, six heels. No neutral at all. So I got to choose. I got to I gotta pick some people, like at least two wrestlers to be neutrals at least or something like that right now. We got some factions. No factions. We don't have any managers right now. Add a relationship. Uh, I could try and get some managers and stuff like that. I don't think I, I do want to, though, right now. Why did I pick Indies? Okay, so, yeah. If I go to Indies, this is where you go for uh, free agents, boys. You go here for the free agents and stuff like that. 
So I'm actually going to choose is Elizabeth. There, there she is, Miss Elizabeth. I am intrigued in her. I don't, I don't want her to wrestle, but I do want her to be a manager, right? She's a good manager, so I'm going to negotiate. I'm going to give her more than she wants. So 175, boom, just like that, sent to the main roster. Next month, she's going to appear on our roster, boys, all right? Just like that. So next month, we're going to have Miss Elizabeth in there. Now, I don't want her to wrestle. I just want her as a manager. So we're going to equip her as a manager, uh, basically. But right now, we don't have any. We can also trade with other companies, make some trades and stuff like that. Don't want to do that. You can also go into other companies and say if you want Hulk Hogan, for example, you can give him an offer, negotiate with him and give him an offer now. Mo uh, for in order for the wrestlers the wrestlers need to uh, say yes but also the company needs to accept as well usually it's very hard to get the company to accept on a main eventer you gotta go for lower mid card ca characters or upper mid cards right these are the types of wrestlers you can go for you can they can afford to let go of or something like that so uh, that's pretty much that so aside from that we're pretty much good we got a lot they've got a lot of part-timers in there good lord all right so at least i don't have any part-timers what we're gonna do we're gonna go into book right away i don't want to do book anything up just yet all i want to do is let's take a look at uh the heels there's too many heels so definitely i want to check uh one of them uh who's a natural uh charisma okay so Ric Flair doesn't have natural heel on, so we can put him as a neutral guy. We're going to give him the neutral stance. Anybody else that's kind of really old? The oldest dudes are Kurt Enning and Jake Roberts. Uh, Jake, uh, Kurt Enning is a natural heel, so we're going to keep him as a heel. Jake Roberts, natural heel as well, so we need to keep him as a heel, boys. Okay, well, anybody else that could be interesting right here to actually get into the position of neutral Chris Benoit we could give him a neutral position I think I'm going to give him a neutral position he's got the star maker as well mostly happy to, to lose to upper mid Carter so uh Ric Flair and Chris Benoit are going to be the two guys that I'm going to be choosing to be neutral so let's uh let's go over here there we go Chris Benoit we're going to change the alignment go neutral just like that there we go transition to manager we can also oh that's a new one too i think that's been an update to the game because uh, you couldn't do that before so i think manager uh, managing is a new type of thing so you can actually take a wrestler and transition him into a manager give him a manager stance instead that's kind of cool i like that quite a lot actually i really like that all right rick flair you're uh, you're going neutral my guy you're going neutral so uh, say if they retire, I can actually get them to be managers instead. So they get, still get like a job. They still do something with the company and stuff. That's kind of cool. That's I like that quite a lot, actually. I really like that. All right. So Trish Stratus, everything's good on that part. I think we're, uh, we're good, boys. We're, we're ready to start off our first pay-per-view. Let's start it out. Living Dangerously. The hype's not too much there. Uh, 20 uh, base hype. We don't have a lot going on with that. We already have, just because we broke up the tag team between Eddie and Chris, uh, they can feud already. Uh, what we're going to do is we're all going to set up the heavyweight championship match. We're going to go multi, uh, just to be sure. Who do I want to pick up? Now, I want to pick up some main eventers, obviously. So I'm, I think I'm going to go for, obviously, Stone Cold. And uh, do we have Sting is another face, so that's three face, a neutral and a heel. Uh, yes, I might not want to go for all of them then. Yeah, I might want to just go for just Kurt Enning, Ric Flair, and Stone Cold should be enough. A heel, a neutral, and a face, boys, to start it off. Right? Boom, just like that. We start that off. ECW Heavyweight Championship Triple Threat Match. Right? Determined between these guys who's going to be the champ. And afterwards, we can do uh, Sting versus Ricky. Well, they're both faces. So I don't want to do that just yet. I think uh, what we do want to do, uh, World Everywhere. So this is for the upper mid card. Okay. So Television Championship. We want to go for one of these guys right here. So let's see. Uh, definitely a face versus a heel could be good. I think I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, do we have multiple heel? 
Well, we got a face right here. I think what I might want to do is we got Jake Roberts. We're going to take him. We got a neutral right here. And we got Eddie. These guys can feud. So I'm actually going to create that feud. Start it up. That's going to be that. So what is that? Uh, two heels, a face and a neutral. We need another face. We need another face. So I'm saying maybe we could pick up... Uh, Ricky, all right, we're gonna uh, we're gonna wrestle with Ricky. So Ricky Steamboat, Rob Van Dam, Jack, uh, Jake Roberts, Chris Benoit, Eddie Guerrero, all right, a lot of multi-man matches right now to start it off, and afterwards the other regular match, the first match is gonna be Trish versus Sting, all right. So you can see boost alignment and everything. Now uh, you can add a gimmick to the matches, right? Add a gimmick. So these are all the gimmick available to us right now. Uh, still sell all this good stuff. I think um, I might want to go do a gimmick match Just for uh, just for the sake of being really good at it unless you know what I think gimmick match I kind of want to reserve them for the actual big pay-per-views like April pay-per-views and stuff like that Right. I think that's what I might want to do. So I might reserve that for the bigger pay-per-views uh, So we're not gonna do anything here. We're not gonna add any gimmick or anything uh, this guy, we're going to just keep it as it is. No gimmicks for the face pay-per-view. We're just going to keep it like that uh, for now. I think that seems good enough. Uh, seems good enough. We can add some segments, which is exactly what we're going to do. We have the right to have two segments per show, boys. So production, I'm actually going to go ahead and do main event package. Uh, there it is. So main event, we're going to boost the main event up and also production let's see what we got we got day in a life i don't want to do that the other one that i, I want to do is just event or uh, event package yeah event package so that's going to boost the next event basically that's just going to boost the uh the next pay-per-view up for um the popularity and everything so that's why i'm doing this voice i think that's perfect we got everything done i can't really do anything else right who can I choose? So if I go singles, I do like uh, debut. Uh, do I want to, can I debut, it's like do the debut of somebody like Trish Stratus, for example? No, uh, yeah, so see, see what it says? I can only have two promos basically for two promos slash video packages per video, uh, per, uh, per pay-per-view. So I, I can't do too much here. So I think we're good. We can go ahead and start it up, boys. You guys are going to see what it looks like. You can always go auto booking as well. Like the AI choose uh, your booking style and stuff like that. Extreme Wrestling presents Living Dangerous Life Tonight. Fan interest is on par for the event, which is headlined by Steve Austin. So they're, the fans are really interested in the main event, obviously. And uh, anticipated match, the second match, of course, as well. Let's see the pro the predictions, boys. Now, this is what the fans want us, want the result to be. So, if you want to be as popular as possible, you might want to consider these uh, things right here. They want Ric Flair to win. They want Ram Rob Van Dam to win. And they want Sting to win. These are the predictions. So, that's what the fans want. Now, afterwards, what we choose, it is what it is. So let's see if the hype is going to be good enough. Good. There we go. Three and a half star boys for the promo. So the 85% efficient. That's pretty good. Event package went up. That's pretty good. Uh, 52 of hype right now. So our hype is pretty much in there. Uh, first match between Trish and Sting. Let's see. Uh, I'm just hoping. I don't care about the results so much as uh, basically the who gets like are they going to have a good match? That's all I care about is having good matches. So good ratings. That's all you care about in this game. So you got to get good ratings. Sting is the most popular one. This, uh, this is the guy that pe most people wanted to uh, wanted to win. They don't want uh, Trish Stratus. She's a newcomer. Obviously, she's not popular at all. She's a, a lower mid card. She's almost a jabroni. Jabroni is uh, in the 450 or something like that of popularity, boy. So... She's almost a jabroni, so we gotta be uh, careful. I think I kind of want to put her over. Not a too, not too good of a match. Three and a half star. Now, obviously Trish, well, she's decent. She's decent in the ring. It just didn't connect, I guess. I guess it didn't connect. Plus one overness for Sting. 
plus two morale change popularity change uh, popularity change you can see all of that so that's really good uh second match between these guys ricky eddie chris jake and rvd they want rvd to win uh that's the story right now so that's what they want uh i don't know exactly if that's the best option uh we'll, we'll see maybe it is i, I kind of want to give the fans what exactly what they want right now but the the, the, the other one the uh i i did that for sting versus trish and it didn't go really well i don't know boys i need somebody that's really good in the ring to win that's uh, as simple as that well there we go just picked up eddie boys so I pressed Eddie by accident. I actually legit didn't mean to do that, but uh, Eddie won. And uh, plus it's perfect because Eddie and Chris are feuding. So it's gotta be one of these two that win, right? So uh, Eddie's winning the first match. He's the television uh, champion right now. So our first television champion. Feuds going up and everything. Uh, matches uh, are not that good. They're decent enough, but they could be better. The main event package, there we go, getting a huge boost right now. Uh, let's see really quick. All right, so they did want Ric Flair to win. You know, people want uh, Stone Cold to uh, want Ric Flair to win right now. So I'll just give them what they want for now. Just give them Ric Flair. There we go. They're happy about it. Smooth performances as well. Matches can can time can sometimes get positive effects. There we go. Out of no, out of the blue. The game, uh, the matches go well. Uh, they get bonuses and stuff. So it's a five star and a half, five and a half star boys uh, match. That's really going to elevate our pay-per-view, which was pretty much average by far. So that's a really good one. Eddie is now starting to get over with the fans as well. Uh, Ric Flair hit Kurt, Ingo, uh, Kurt Enning with a lariat the, that knocked his head off. Fans are going crazy. That's fantastic. So everything's going well. Let's see the show. Four-star pay-per-view. All right, not too bad. At least that's it's a decent pay-per-view. It's a decent pay-per-view. Uh, ratings for that one is going up. Uh, we went down for the prestige, though, which means we're less popular. We lost some fans. Yeah, so we lost 700 fans somehow. That's not good, boys. Hey, well, we had the third best attendance, though. That's pretty interesting. Well, I mean, I'm I'm kind of expecting that we ECW, we're uh, ECW after all. But I really want to try and get ECW to that next level and try actually beat these guys right that's going to be the next uh, big thing it's going to be the hardest thing ever to beat was a wwe Ex especially once we're, it's their, it was their whistlemania week right so and we had like the best show out of all of them we had the best show except for divide and conquer so i don't know how we lost some fans when we had the best show I don't know, it might be because WWF won all of them. They won like 18k fans or something. That's crazy. All right, well, that's pretty much it. Uh, Elizabeth is in right now. So you can see we've got Elizabeth with us. Let's uh, go straight into it. First thing we're going to do, Elizabeth is a manager. That's fantastic. I also, I forgot something. I kind of want to get Elizabeth or Charisma up though. We're going to train her Charisma up. There we go. So what does that mean? Select talent. Okay, so we add her to a natural talent to someone in particular. Okay, so we can choose. Who do we want Miss Elizabeth to manage, boys? Uh, you guys can let me know in, co in the comments. I'm not entirely sure who yet should get the work. I'm feeling like a main event talent should get her for sure. So, Or maybe an upper, uh, upper make carter to help him out. So think about it, boys. Who do you want? Who's in my roster right now that you guys might want me to get Miss Elizabeth to manage? Uh, would be pretty interesting, right? So uh, just let me know. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you didn't enjoy the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.